Hello world, welcome back to Razor RC. Today I want to talk about the best tires for your RC cars. How to pick the right tires. Tires are actually the most important performance modification you can make for your RC car. They're what stick your vehicle to the road, to the dirt, to the track, or whatever type of surface you're running on. And so uh, picking the right type of tire actually is really, really important. So today I'm going to cover uh, all the different types of tires uh, that can, you can pick up uh, for your 110 scale off-road vehicle. I'm going to cover a lot of different types of surfaces. So it's important to pick the right type of tire for the type of surface you're running on. Pretty much every type of tire is uh, specialized for a different type of surface. And to get the right amount of traction, um, the right performance, the right amount of handling, you definitely have to pick the right tire for that surface. Now, there are some sort of all-terrain type of tires, and I'll talk a little bit about those. But they're not really going to perform like very super good in any particular uh, type of terrain. Uh, and I recommend getting a dedicated tire for the type of uh, surface you're running on. If you're doing stuff on the road, you know, I recommend getting a road tire. If you're doing stuff in the dirt, on the indoor clay track, whatever, I recommend getting a specialized tire for each of those. It is a little expensive. I mean, a set of tires could cost you like $100 or so. Um, but uh, I think you'll find that the vehicle just performs way better, a lot more handling, and then the tires will actually last longer as well. And the good thing about these tires is they're reusable, right? You can use them on different vehicles, etc. So, First off, we're going to talk about uh, road tires. I don't do a lot of street driving, but um, there are a couple different tires I would recommend you kind of look at. So a standard road tire looks like something like this, kind of like what you would see on your actual one-to-one, -one, you know, your real RC car, or I'm sorry, your real car that you drive to work or whatever, uh, fully uh, a lot of tread blocks. This is kind of an in-between. There's a little bit of off-road performance, but for the most part, this is pretty much, I think it's called the Roadhog. It's pretty, or yeah, something like that. Anyways, it's pretty much a street tire with a little bit of dirt performance. Um, the other thing you can do is actually run slicks. So Proline makes the Primes, uh, which is a race tire, but they also make versions for the street and they're pretty much the same tire. Uh, it's basically a slick with some tiny little uh, cuts into it uh, to provide a little bit of dirt and water management but um, this is pretty much just a full-on slick and where this would work on is like a, a really uh, like a street uh, any sort of flat on road surface that has a little bit of texture to it you would not want to run this on like a black top like a really smooth uh, surface because any sort of dirt or dust on top of that will just basically make this thing slide but something on the street where it's asphalt has a uh, sort of a top layer and then um, little pockets for dirt and oil and stuff to go down um, and so this will basically sit on top of that top layer and uh, basically actually provide a lot of traction they, they wear really long as well so slicks actually also work pretty good on road switching to off-road it's going to depend on a lot on the type of uh, terrain you're running on so we're going to go with the most aggressive uh, sort of harshest type terrain and something like this um, this is the Badlands by Proline. You can see it's got these super huge knobby uh, lugs on it. This is going to grip really well on really rough terrain, uh, rocky terrain, really uneven surfaces. It works really well on grass as well. So anything where, the, you know, it's basically the worse the terrain, the better this tire is actually going to work. Also works pretty well on really loose dirt as well. These lugs will dig into that dirt and give you that traction. So uh, for the, the really worst type of terrains, I recommend getting the Badlands. These will work on pretty much any type of bad off-road uh, surface, but they're really, really bad on-road because these things will just wear down really fast. So uh, concrete, cement, skate parks, uh, road, this is really quite poor, but any sort of off-road uh, type tire, if all you're gonna do is drive off-road, this is a really good choice. You'll pretty much be able to conquer any type of off-road surface. If your surface is a little more smooth, you're running on dirt, but actually it's just like a smoother, dusty, uh, maybe hard pack type surface. Something with a lot of little mini lugs like this is actually a little bit better than the Badlands. These little lugs will cut through the dirt um, and kind of give you a, a ton of little uh, knobs that are digging into that dirt and um, providing grip. So while the Badlands are good on really bad terrain, really rough, rocky type terrain, if it's smoother, a little bit finer dirt, um, something like this will actually perform a little bit better. I think these are the J Concepts choppers, uh, sort of a pin style uh, type tire. 
Moving on to uh, a little bit more of an in-between tire. This is the Proline Trenchers. Again, a really popular tire, uh, something like this. As you can see, it's got sort of the big flat blocks. So it actually drive relatively well on-road. These things will give you a little bit of um, more longevity because they're not gonna wear down quite as fast as the big lugs of the Badlands. And it's kind of an in-between tire. It'll perform okay on dirt, not particularly well. It'll perform you know, okay on street, but not particularly well. This is the closest thing I think they make to sort of a in-between type tire. Uh, also again, a really popular choice with bashers. Perline Trencher or something like this. They make knockoffs and stuff as well, but this is kind of the original type vehicle. And then moving on again to a little bit more of a road type uh, tire. This is a, a Traxxas Max tire. And as you can see, again, it's got these big flat blocks. Doesn't have quite as many of the little cuts and stuff like the um, Trenchers do, these little holes and stuff like that. So a lot of uh, stock monster truck tires look like this and the reason for that is because you can pretty much drive it on anything but again it's not going to perform quite as well uh, on off-road especially this is slightly more street oriented than the trenchers and so yeah kind of a all-terrain type vehicle so yeah there you have it from um, basically a really rough terrain a little bit better type smoother dirt and then down to sort of a a little bit more street oriented or in between type tires. So those are your uh, typical basher tires and what you would want to use um, depending on what sort of off-road and or on-road type terrain you're going to be running on. Okay, moving on to race tires now. I've got a collection of buggy tires in front of us. These are the rears for one ten scale uh, two-wheel drive buggies. And I want to talk a little bit about the evolution of tires and also um, different types of tires for different types of surface. So for the most part, uh, indoor racing has taken over. Uh, there's not a whole lot of outdoor loose loamy type surfaces and pretty much everything is going to more and more higher traction surfaces, clay, uh, compacted dirt, uh, just really high traction type stuff. So uh, starting from the left, kind of an older style is pretty much something like this is kind of a bar type style. I think uh, Brian Kinwell was the first one to come up with sort of like a bar type style. I don't have any like true bar style, but uh, this one I think is like a wishbone or something. Anyways, um, this type of tire with a lot of horizontal type bars uh, were really kind of in vogue back with the rear motor type buggies. Um, a little bit of a dust ring here on the outside. So this type of bar type style, not really popular anymore. Um, pretty much everyone has moved to a, a more of a web type style, but you can still see these once in a while. Um, I think even the Losi Mini T 2.0 comes with a BK bar type style. So anyways, sort of these big flat horizontal bars and this dust ring um, is kind of an older school type tire. Maybe it would work on really loose loamy type stuff. I don't know, but um, for the most part, this has disappeared. Oh, kind of what kind of what came along then became more the interconnected web type style design. So again, this I think was designed by Brian Kinwald. This is the J Concepts Dirt Web. Again, still a very popular type tire, especially on the front of uh, two wheel drive buggies. Uh, so these type of tires are a little more of an indoor clay type tire. Uh, kind of that interconnected web gives you a little more stability, a little more unidirectional control. Not so much of the big uh, heavy outer dust ring um, like the older type style uh, tires do as well. But uh, yeah, indoor clay tires, uh, sort of this interconnected web uh, became a lot more popular. You can see, still see there's sort of kind of like that horizontal bar type thing to give you a lot of forward traction. But um, as, as buggies went more to mid motor, uh, more um, even the distributed weight distributions, that kind of thing, uh, that became a little less popular. Uh, then moving on to this, this is the Proline Electrons. Now you can see it's really more of diagonal type bars, uh, big uh, sort of pins giving you that forward drive, um, sort of that interconnected uh, web type design as well. A little bit of a forward uh, bar type thing down the center, but for the most part, this is kind of a little more unidirectional uh, interconnected web type style. Again, uh, the dust ring is starting to get less and less prominent. Um, and so yeah, sort of a four, a little bit dustier type surfaces, uh, indoor clay that's a little bit drier, not super, super tacky. Um, the Electron is still a popular choice. Um, basically the looser and dustier it is for a really high traction uh, indoor type surface, something the Electron is still popular, very, very popular type design. As power went up, as uh, 
uh, kind of something new that came along is sort of a directional type tire. So this is the Proline Positron. And the cool thing about this is you can sort of flip it left and right. I think one way gives you a little bit more forward traction. Uh, the other way gives you slightly more um, side bite um, and a little bit less forward traction. But uh, you can, again, now start to see a really interconnected type design. A lot of uh, webbing. Um, and then the other thing people are started doing is kind of sanding these down, uh, getting the tread height to the depth that you want. Uh, it's really important to break in these type of tires because there are so much of these little ridges and stuff like that. So uh, popular type type of tire, especially in the rear, not so much in the front. The front people still use kind of like that J Concepts uh, dirt webs or that Proline Electron type tire. But for the rears, this type of interconnected heavy, heavy webbing uh, and sort of angular type design became uh, quite popular. So um, that was kind of the evolution of the tires. Then moving on to more and more higher traction type surfaces, you have something like this, this is the inversion. And as you can see, it's actually uh, the opposite of the uh, Positron is basically the same type pattern but inverted, so that's why they call it the inversion. So something like this, as you can see, starting to get to a little bit more of a slick type tire. Uh, you still have grooves to allow some of the dust, some of that loose dirt to kind of get into those grooves and so that you're riding on the full surface of the actual indoor clay type track. But um, yeah, as, you, as the traction goes up, the dirt gets a little more tacky. Uh, a slick type tire is gonna give you more traction. It's basically just gonna be sticking to the surface of the dirt. Um, and something like this is a little more appropriate. I like using this on like practice days on indoor clay just because surface is not super maintained. And so I don't really want to run like a full on slick, but something like this will give you uh, something really close to a slick without having to uh, have the, the track surface be perfect condition. And then moving on to this, the J Concepts, I uh, forgot what this is called, the Octagons. Um, again, you can see it's starting to get more and more slick like the grooves on this thing. The tread is really, really shallow. It's pretty much a ghost pin type uh, tire. What people are doing was taking something like an Electron and basically sanding it down to where it's basically a slick. Uh, if you weren't quite able to use a full on slick, you could run something like an Octagon, give you really, really close to a slick type performance, but not a full on slick. So that's what something like an Octagon uh, is used for. And then the last tire here is pretty much a full on slick. Uh, this is a Proline Prime tire. Uh, as you can see, it's got barely any sort of tread at all. It sort of has these uh, little lines and slashes on it, but for the most part, those are basically cosmetic. Those are not gonna really do anything. Uh, this is basically a full on slick. So if your track surface is perfect, really tacky, high bite, uh, really well maintained type clay, um, no dust whatsoever, it's blown, blown off. I mean, these are gonna be the fastest, uh, most consistent and highest performing tires. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, kind of the full range of indoor uh, dirt type tires, indoor clay type tires, going from sort of old school, looser, loamy type, not really loamy type surfaces, but um, dustier, more beat up type uh, surfaces, all the way down to the full on smooth, ultra high speed, ultra high performance type slick. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's kind of an overview of all the dirt tires and uh, stuff you can get on the market today, uh, whether you're bashing, whether you're racing, doing on-road, whatever. There are some other specialized tires like foam tires or high-speed type things or crawler tires or carpet tires or something like that. I'm not going to cover that today. I might do a carpet video at some point, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notifications button. Uh, throw down a comment if you like this video or if there's some other tires that uh, you think are good and I didn't cover. And uh, look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.